How's everybody doing? I'm going to show you how to play I Thank You by ZZ Top. This is a, put the camera down here. <clears throat> this is a great tune, uh, some great riffs by Billy Gibbons. Um, what I like to do, I'm using my Black Star amp over here, is I like to put a little chorus on it. And it's really kind of clean, it's not dirty, um, a little, but not bad. So I'm just going to go all clean here today on this. Um, I don't even think I need my mic on, actually. I'm going to go all clean here on this, but I'm going to show you, first of all, it's really using just a few strings for the intro. It's the A string, which is this string, you see that? the D string and the G string. It's, and he's, he's just hitting that, that E and palm muting it just a little bit. You just kind of rest your palm to get that palm mute. Um, <clears throat> let me just play it first so you can see. much the intro. And what it does is it's twice on the A string and then he does some double stops and that would be the fifth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string here and then it'd be seventh fret, seventh fret. So it's so it's here, here, then back to here. So practice that a little bit. Just okay, that's the first part. Now the second half is actually open with a D string and G string, and then with the with the second fret and tail. So the second half goes. So let me start over. Actually, so it's. So you do twice on the A, then twice open, and then snap right back down on the second fret. So let me play that whole thing one more time for you. second half of this intro, he does something, he does basically the first part again, so it's, let me, I'm going to start from the beginning, now here's the second part, okay, so you're basically going to do the, just like before, and then, then what he does, he double stop, and a kind of a, a weird bend here on the G and B, and I can kind of pull it off with one finger, but so I've seen some guys do it and have to put, use two there, but I can pull it off with one finger. So let me play that one more time, then I'll go through where the, where the notes are. Okay. So again, it's the uh, seventh fret, the G string and B string. Okay. And then back to the fifth fret on the G. Sorry about that. Now you can't just make, I mean you gotta you gotta bend it and feel where it stops. You know what I mean? And you gotta even feel the difference between the two strings. You can see how you can make it sound weird or not good, like or you can bend too far. You can go too far with it too. You have to kinda um, it, it comes natural after you've played it a few times, you know, and how to do that, and how to get the spacing and the, and the feel of it right. So let me run through it one more time from the start. Okay? And that's the intro, okay? Now for the lyrics... Um, the lyrics are very similar. Um, <clears throat> there, there is actually one other part I want to show you, um, and that's where it goes. Kind of alternates with the bass there. That's basically just an octave on the A string. So that's the seventh fret on the D string. So it's so after the. It took me a little while to figure out. It's easy. They're just kind of bar chords, but it's the whole timing of it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, is it is it on, off? It's like a little, like a stutter type thing. Um, I look at it in sections of three, like three hammer-ons. That's a hammer-on actually in two slides. 
One, two, three, like that. So let me do that again. Okay, and basically what that what that is when it's when it's doing the it's the A string, which is this string here, the fifth string, and then the seventh fret here. It's basically open E, hammer right down on that on that A, A, uh, F sharp chord, then slide up to G, then slide up to G sharp, and then kind of slide off. So. Now just before you go into that, hit that A one more time. Let's go into the lyrics, okay, where the lyrics are. And it's basically almost the same as the intro, with the same two double stops here. Okay, so it's, uh, I can't sing it and play it at the same time. Have to hold it like you did, but you did, but you did. And I thank you. Okay, so it's, you see what I did there? It's basically just on that A string again, a lot of that A, A string action going on. Like that, right? And then what this is, is if you could picture this, uh, it's basically like, you know, basically that chord. If we if we had the capo on, be that kind of that chord there, right? In a C shape. Basically E back to D. Okay. What this is, is the 7th fret with your ring finger, or with your middle finger rather, 6th fret with your index on the D string, playing those together, and then you're sliding that back to the 5th fret. So you're going back actually E to D. Okay. So let me play that part kind of its an entirety here. You didn't have to love me like you did, but you did, but you did. Then it goes does the same thing again. And I then it, then it just does this longer after the second verse. You didn't have to hold it like you did, like you did, like you did. And I thank you. Mm -hmm. Cry and shame. But I can't sing it and play the same. Sorry. You make me feel like I never felt. Then it goes to an E. Seventh at it. Or a ninth. Is it a ninth? I think it's a ninth. Okay, so that's basically it. Okay. And that's pretty much the lyric the lyrics. Now I'm gonna go into the solo a little bit. This is actually one of my favorite solos by Billy Gibbons, and it's honestly one of the easiest ones really of his. But it still uses that same funky double stop. No, oddly, a lot of times when you're playing, it's in a pentatonic here. You'll want to go. Right? It's such a habit to want to, to do stuff like that. What, what Billy Gibbons does here is he goes from that double stop right to the root, which is kind of cool. That's why I like this. I love I love that. It's different, you know. And then it goes. Okay, so what that is again, it's that double stop on the seventh fret, then seventh fret on the D string, which is your root note. So, and then here's the second part. It's fifth fret. So it's it's fifth fret to seventh fret, two, like that. Then, then it goes fifth fret down the G string back to the root. So really, what you're doing is you're, you're twiddling around the root. Okay, you're always going back to that root. Now after the third one, this is where it gets a little tricky, because he adds uh, kind of an oddball note in there. And it's not even even a uh, it's not even the blues note, you know, the extra you know the extra blues note. It's actually this note here, but it adds some really cool tension 
to the ending of this solo. And I, it breaks it up, because otherwise it'd just be playing pentatonic, right? Uh, minor pentatonic. So here's what, here's what it is. And I'm just going to pretend this is the last time you do it. Whoops. And then he quickly goes... So you hear that little... So, it, so it's... So, so it's like normal, then quickly hammer from the fifth to the sixth note uh, f fret on the D string. So it's and then it's another hammer there on the next string down on the G string. Then just grab, go ahead and grab the old Chuck Berry stuff. I'm just, it's a G string to B string, and I'm, what I'm doing is, is I am bending and uh, just kind of playing them at the same time. So it goes like this. Just like that. And that's pretty much the song, other than the ending. Um, and it's pretty much the same chord, you know. And I thank you, but that's really it. And I'll do that one more time for you. And that's really it to play I Thank You by ZZ Top. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them down in the thread down there. Or if there's a little different way you might do something too, hey, I mean, this is just kind of the way that I kind of play it, what it sounds to me like. And uh, I've seen others, and they play it pretty much the same way. But if you have anything different, any comments, free down them. Until next time, thanks.